All right, it is this week's uh, time for this week's Happier at Home, talking about traveling tips for seniors this morning. Marie Rodriguez is in for Deb Marcello this week. Good morning to you. Good morning, how are you? I'm doing well. All right, this time of year, so many people want to get away, I think, uh, because of the weather. It's been ongoing for a while now, sick of the cold and snow. Uh, what are some of the things that we need to think about that we may not initially think about when it comes to travel traveling with an older loved one? Yes, great. So we want to make sure that we have everything in line for our trip and make sure that one of the main things that we're really seeing that's um, something that's very important is contacting your physician to make sure that we're safe and healthy enough to travel. So going over if there's any health conditions that would hinder traveling, making sure everything's in line, and going along with that, having a printout of your prescriptions and medication dosage with you so you have that and the contact information for your doctor. It is also important to make sure that you have your medications with you and not checked into a suitcase only because if there's any delays or cancellations, most likely you won't be able to get your um, checked in bag off of a, a uh, plane. Yeah. So you're gonna wanna have those on your carry on. I think that's one of those good tips for anyone traveling, whether you're young or yes. old, if you've got important medications, travel with them with your carry on. Uh, good information there. You also say notify the airline about special needs. Uh, that's kind of a simple step, but one a lot of people don't necessarily think about when they are booking travel. Yes, and just um, last week planned a family trip, and there is a section when you book your airline ticket that says if there's any additional accommodations that need to be made, you can check that box and you can contact the airline. And what happens is the um, people will come to the gate and they will make sure that you're on the plane first for pre-boarding and then also meet you at your next gate to get you to um, where you need to be for your next um, travel if there's a connection of a flight. Yeah, important to have that all set up in advance. Uh, I didn't think of this one, valid form of identification. A, a lot of older people may not drive anymore. They may not have a license. Yes, so a valid government ID. Um, they have the non-driver ID cards, which are very important to have. And also if there's a passport, but if it's a driver's license that is no longer valid because of you know whatever circumstances of our seniors not driving, it's important to have that driver non-driver ID card or passport. Let's talk about some of the steps too people could take once they are on board that plane. You say drink lots of water and bring some pre-packed snacks. Yes, super important to have the water. Um, I know I enjoy coffee, things like that, but water really will keep you hydrated. And then also those snacks, um, whether it's like a protein bar or pre-packed um, fresh fruit or vegetables, pretzels, those types of things are really important to bring. And we know obviously with the airlines, you only get uh, a few snacks these days. And if you're trying to buy something in the airport, it can be a lot more expensive as well. Uh, good advice here, you say select an aisle seat. Why is that important? Yes, so the aisle seat will allow for you to be able to better get up and stretch if you have to during the flight. And also it's easier for you to access the bathroom. Um, but again, just that getting up and stretching, maybe, you know, just during the flight so you can keep your body moving. Yeah, good advice, especially if you don't want to have to step over somebody.